Hey guys, this is Tanner Gray, also known as Topsail Tanner. We are continuing talking about seven things in each particular town that I like and dislike. We are in Surf City right now. One of the things I really like about Surf City is I like the development of Surf City. Since Xander Guy started the, the development and made the Southside Park, it's just kind of continued to expand. There's parks all over the place. They're doing a real good job with that. They also got rid of the swing bridge, which is a big positive for me. I know people don't like the roundabout, but it, unfortunately, it really is a benefit because you're always moving. One drawback for me is that this beach right here, uh, a lot of the oceanfront properties are non-conforming. And if you're not sure what non-conforming means, call me and I'll tell you about it. But in a short term, it means that if something happened to the dwelling which damaged more than 50%, you can't rebuild. One thing I really do like is if you live in the center of town, you could basically ride your bike everywhere. Um, you don't even have to ever get in your car. The first house I rented was in the 400 block of North Topsail Drive, and I rode my bike everywhere. I never even drove my car. It was fantastic. A drawback of living here is also, there's tons of people that have found out about Topsail, and people say the secret's out. There's really no secret, guys. It's just they enjoy the same things that we do. For that, it's pretty crammed for what people consider crowded. A positive for me here is that they've got a fantastic boat ramp that if you're gonna be using uh, for your family, uh, a great area right in the center of town, Soundside Park, park your boat ramp. I think there's 100 parking slips for both your boat and that. So that's a big positive for me. One big drawback for me also is that nobody really seems to adhere to a lot of the rules and ordinances. Like if you see in the background of me, there's people sitting on the dunes as we speak. I wish people paid more attention to that stuff, but that's just my opinion. Something else that I really do like about Surf City is that everything here is on municipal water and municipal sewer. The benefits of that is you don't have to worry about septic systems, uh, houses, etc. You're always going to be sure to maintain that you got everything covered um, from a house standpoint. A drawback for me is when we have a storm that comes in pretty quick or a rain shower, everybody tries to leave at the same time. And that's a problem for me because it's the day trippers that cause all the you know, stopping and go, and it takes 30, 40 minutes to get off the island. It's not, the, it's not tourists that are doing that. They're going back to the houses. It's basically, it's us, it's me. I'm one of them. So I don't like that about Surf City. A good benefit for me, guys, also, is that all of the amenities that are here in Surf City, you can't find anywhere else. So like I said, you could find nightlife here, you could find family activities to do, you could find you know, basically anything that you want to do, and it's all within pretty much walking distance of the center of town. A major drawback for me is the parking situation. Like I mentioned, I had to come here early to get spots during the summertime. Uh, you know, typically if you're here by 10 o'clock, most of the spots where that are closer to town where you want to get something to eat or even if the kids want to be closer to, to, towards the pier, they're full by, by 9 o'clock. Another benefit for me in Surf City is that I think they are doing a phenomenal job when it comes to the resources that are allocated for recreational things. They just purchased another 10 acres where there's going to be a skate park. There's gonna be a greenway on the way here. There's just a ton of stuff that they're doing. Go to the website, guys, you'll be able to see that they have plans laid out. I, I find that is a huge benefit for me. One thing that I actually, another thing I actually don't like about Surf City is how crowded the just the central location of the pier gets. Now, I understand that's kind of where all the action happens and where everything can walk, but that's kind of a drawback for me because I like a little bit of space, you know, but my kids tend to like the pier, so we end up getting pretty close. And it's becoming where you gotta come and park pretty early during the day. Those are the set top seven things that I like and dislike about Surf City. Again, guys, uh, thanks for watching. This is Tanner Gray, also known as Tops Tanner. And See you on the next one.